people have been asking, hey, can you set up the XMID Pro 2 using the skinny pitch without having to set the whole thing up first and then squishing it down to size? The answer is absolutely yes. It's super duper easy. It, it's actually easier than setting up the duplex, I think, from z -Packs. And the secret here is just to make sure you have a trapezoid and the, uh, the bathtub floor is shaped properly to do this. So you just put the stakes in and pull them tight and make sure you keep the trapezoid and it goes right up super easy. So I'm going to start with four stakes and I'm going to stake the corners out in uh, the areas where they look like they belong. This one here on the short side is the bungee, not the corner. Square corner is way out here, we're not going to use that. And you come back on the other end. So it's kind of trapezoidal. And again, you're, you're not using the full square area of, of the tarp. And if you want to do a quick check, it's not hard. You grab a quarter and say, hey, does it look square to me? Pull it out and you go, meh, looks square to me. Flop it over, you don't need that anymore. Now, just like a duplex, you stick a couple stakes in it. It stands up by itself. This is just like the duplex. You stand it up. Stick it off like that. And it stays off. Come around to the other side. Stick it up. Good to go. Now, I'm gonna get you in a little closer to see something kind of cool that I discovered yesterday when I was messing with this. So, you got this skinny duplex looking thing, and I'm like, well, I don't wanna roll the doors up. I don't wanna mess with the doors. Well, it just so happens, if you tie your lines cleverly, like I'll show you, you can hold the doors out too. Take the bungee, come down like this. Just make sure your, your line is parallel with this seam. You come in with the tail of your line if it's long enough. Put a little trucker's hitch on it or an overhand slip knot. Bam, there you go. Same thing on this side. Come in. Take the spare line. Easy peasy. Now, it looks a whole lot like a duplex, doesn't it? All right, coming back in on this whole stake thing on the side using the uh, top supports, the guy outlines. So you've got your pole in there, it's properly positioned. Without the guy outline, it'll just fall over. Well, it kind of comes back up, but you need the line. Anyway, I was showing in the other video where you could pull this off to the side and stake it. You could go roll it up that way and stake it. Oh, if you actually want the vestibule, you can tie, you know, an adjustable knot here, slip knot kind of thing. I use two half hitches and just pull it in tight. Make sure you have a long tail. This has got to be in line with the zipper. So you might have to move it around a little bit. If you're over here, it's like, nah, it's not in line. If you're over here, nah, it's not in line. Just stick it in line. You take this string here and what you can do is just loop it in, pull it tight, it's got a bungee, and a simple knot, just a slip knot, a loop. That'll hold it. Now, you can unzip it, 
and you still got this vestibule area and you can roll this up just like we were before and if you want to get rid of this pull that off and this you can actually roll up all the way in terms of folding it and putting it away i'm going to do it just like i do my duplex Easy peasy.